Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It is Monday, it is six o'clock if you're watching this when this has just come out. So today I want to talk to you guys about the foods that I avoid whilst I was trying to get into remission. I don't know if you guys have gone through this the same as I did, but my doctor basically gave me a whole list of foods to avoid. Pretty gutted when he came up with this really long list and I was like, <laughs> okay then. But to help you guys and to simplify things, I've put things in three main groups, low sodium, low fat and low sugar. Having a low sodium diet, this helps with any water retention that you may be having or experiencing. It helps lower your blood pressure. It helps with your cholesterol levels. And overall, salt isn't great for your kidneys as your kidneys are there to process any liquid in your body. So obviously having that much salt in your body isn't gonna help. Sugar is another thing that I cut down on a lot as I got told that you can get something called steroid induced diabetes. And obviously no one wants that. So I really tried to cut down on my sugar. And the third category I really tried to cut down on was fats. I got told that when you're on steroids, it is really easy to gain weight. So try not to eat as many fats as you normally would. To make this video simple and easy, I'm just gonna quick fire a, a long, I'm not gonna lie, it is quite long, list of foods that I basically just avoided for the whole time that I was trying to recover. Egg yolks, mayonnaise, takeaways and fast food, pickled foods that are high in salt, foods in general that are high in salt. If you look at the label, then you can know how much salt is in that particular food. Processed foods, foods with MSG, so anything from a Chinese takeaway that probably has MSG inside. High salt condiments like ketchup and salad cream, they have a lot of salt in them. Meat fats like the fat on the steak, if you just cut those off, then you will be eating no fat from that steak. Oil. I ended up buying, I think it's called Fry Light or Spray Light or something like that, and it's one calorie per spray and it's so much better for you than normal oil. Alcohol. I cut out alcohol. Any unnatural sugar or fats such as crisps or chocolate. I didn't eat too much protein as I got told that it wasn't great to eat too much protein when you are on the road to recovery. I cut down on the amount of water that I drank as well as obviously my body was holding way too much water. I think I drank about 1.5 liters max per day. This one was hard, I cut out cheese. I love cheese, cheese is my bestie, I could marry cheese. Um, I actually switched to soft cheese. I cut out gluten from my diet because I found that it made me very poorly. So I cut out things like rice, pasta and bread. Those are the list of foods that I avoided whilst I was on the road to recovery. I really found that it helped that I avoided those foods. I'm not gonna lie, it is hard to suddenly cut out all of those foods from your diet. So maybe start with like a couple of things and then work your way up. But honestly, if you do manage to cut them all out, then congratulations because it is hard. I think it took me about a good five months a very very long time to cut all of those things out completely and to accept the fact that those things are probably going to make me worse for wear. If you guys are interested however on things that I do eat daily then I do regularly post these on my Instagram page. It is called Jasmine's Journey and if you follow this page then basically I regularly upload things that I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks healthy alternatives that I like to cook and the way I cook things, I always explain in the caption when I upload the photo. That was another short video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and took away some sort of useful information from that very long list. Please don't forget, if you do enjoy my videos, click the subscribe button. I would really, really love for you all to come on this journey with me. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time that I upload a new video. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.